is Kalen DeBoer at Washington. Yeah. I think that will be a good hire. And he's cheap right now. He's uh, on the lead in three at uh, Sioux Falls Division II school. He went 12 and 6 at Fresno State in two seasons in Washington, and he's gone 25 and 3 overall. So, yeah. those are great numbers. Great numbers. I, I mean, he's cheap. He's a winner. But, yeah. And he maintained. He, he doesn't know SEC football. Right? Yeah. He doesn't have, a, uh, you know, a footprint in the South for recruiting, right? Being up there in Washington, he's only recruiting the guys on the West Coast. You don't have a lot of guys from the South going to Washington. It's just, that's just not happening. Um, but if he hires the right staff, you know, anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. But I think he would be a good fit. Nick Saban, man. Nick Saban retiring. This is celebrating the most accomplished, probably the GOAT. He He's hanging it up. And I'm going to go over just a few, a few of his uh, records, right? In 26 seasons as a head coach, Saban has – a 274 76 and one record. That's an 800 winning percentage. That's crazy, man. He's 183 and 25 at Alabama. And think about that. That's the SEC, right? The hardest conference in college football. And he's he has a crazy winning percentage there. Six national titles. I think seven in total when you count his LSU one. That's just an amazing accomplishment, right? I don't think we're going to see that in our lifetime ever again. What Nick Saban has done will never be duplicated, right? He, the guy, he changed college football. For him to have the impact that he had, um, not just on SEC, but in college football in general, to be that dominant for that long is, you know, it's kind of mind blowing if you think about it, man. Yeah. Think about the coach turnover in college football. You know what I mean? Year in and year out. And he, you know, but you know, it's his style of how he runs his programs. You know, he demands excellence. He stays true to himself and he always wants what's best for the players. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was listening to the day that he said he felt tired also, that he would not have the same ferocity as the, as they said it on TV, man. Like, he wasn't going to have the same, like, uh, energy that he has displayed because that's where he beats everybody else in recruiting. He's a yeah. on the road. He works hard, man. He's out there recruiting. And from early stages of recruiting season down to, like, Game one day, Nick Saban's engaged in every facet of, of his team. And that's where I think where yeah. he outworks other coaches. He's a hell of a recruiter. And, yeah, man, just we, people forget that Alabama went through a long time. I think they went 17 seasons, 17 years with no national title. They had some really bad years. Uh, people forget, yeah. though. I just – it's like – Who's going to replace him that can come in and sustain that success, right? Bro, the shoes, this person, whoever they hire, right? They have a short list of candidates that, you know, you know, different websites are reporting different things. But the shoes, whoever this person is, the shoes that they have to fill is, I mean, it's ridiculous. Like, how short of a leash are they going to be on trying to fill this man's shoes? Yeah. The athletic director, how, you know, you can't expect somebody to come in and do what Saban did because that shit has never been done before and it won't ever be done again. How much time are you going to give him with the next person at Alabama to win? Well, the person who's inheriting this team did not inherit what Nick Saban did. Nick Saban got... No. He got a devastating program, right? Yeah. So, and that's why I think the person... Who out there has won a national title right now? That's um, that's available to change. I don't think you hire somebody that hasn't won a national title. I don't think you. The only person that's out there, right, that's not locked in, is Urban Meyer. 
Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people don't like him, right? It's a little spicy, but he's a, he's a winner at the college level. He has one of the best winning percentages in college football history. That would be a massive shakeup. Hey, could you, this is another issue, right? <clears throat> Saban retires. Like you said, who's going to replace him? Because kids have, they don't go to Alabama for Alabama. They go to Alabama for Saban. So when Saban wants to go the chief player, they saw, I'm going to go play for Coach Saban. You know, yeah. that's what you said. That's what, that's what players go to. Like you said, what is there now um, the, besides go potentially be winning championships? Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing. Yeah. One of the recruits said a while back, man, he said, you know, who wants to go to Tuscaloosa to have fun? Nobody. Yeah. You're going to Alabama because Saban Saint came and sat on my couch and said, I'm going to be great. Yeah. Fish. They said, if Saban, if Saban comes in your house and he sits on your couch, it's it for you. That's it. You go to Alabama. It's all the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, the six titles in Alabama, yeah. the um, the crazy amount of first round picks. Sure. Every NFL roster has a Bama player on it, <laughs> pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. It's just ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean, my a lot of props to, to Alabama, to Coach Saban, and Mike Wilbon today on. Uh, on ESPN was saying that it's he foresees some struggle years coming because I mean it's like who is there to, like you're you're trying to replace uh something that's irreplaceable, someone who's irreplaceable really. Yeah. So and it's just man, it's so hard to do, man. It's God, that's so hard to do. Saving he's goaded, man. He's goaded. And I appreciate for, you know what he did for the game because that's that's you know, we're big college football guys, so what he has contributed to college football is, you know, bar none, man. Oh, yeah. Bar none. He always has input, and every time he speaks about, like, you know, as report, and uh, all this stuff that has come, has changed, and conferences, you know, he had, he, he's like a sounding board of what makes sense, you know? Yeah. So it wasn't a lot of, like, oh, I, you know, he didn't just go with the flow, like, no, this is something yeah. that is good for the, for the, college game or something that's not. That's and he just like I said, stuck to his gutters. He never changed who he was. Who he was. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. He uh yeah, he's definitely gonna be missed, man. But when that news broke, man, shockwave. I was at work and was like, oh shit. <laughs> Rose did my haircut, man. I was in my haircut and I'm like, what the Yeah, it's crazy. The Alabama fan base, the videos I've seen so far. Hey, welcome back to welcome back to normal college football fandom, right? Welcome back, Alabama fans. I'm gonna tell you right now, all the Bama fans need to go ahead, whatever they doing, they need to lower their expectations right now, moving forward. Because, you know, the saving is on oh man, the dude's on another level, man. <laughs> on another level, and he this. got so much love, man. You know, people were showing him a lot of love on, on Twitter and and Instagram, and you know, all over the place, man. Just giving a thanks for what that what he's done for them. So, yeah, man. It, if you're a college football fan, it's just a it's you have to acknowledge the greatness, right? There's some people who are going to be like, oh yeah, finally, you know, he's gone. Alabama's the Nah, man, there's no negative talk. I know I joked earlier about Alabama fans, but it's just really low. It's time to really, you're going to see the difference between how elite he was. And, yeah. and I think whoever they hire is not good, but they're not going to be in the same. It's just not no. going to happen. Yeah. You know, no. The, the elite level of coaching, the professionalism, the everything that he embodied at Alabama. And say somebody may come in there and we do great, but now you're down on the same level. Yeah. Well, that does it for this episode of the Unbiased Room. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, share it, tell us how we're doing. Peace. Take me.